Regenerative medicine. Probably everyone has heard of it before. It is one of the most advanced areas of medicine in the world, and an area that Japanese industry is also focusing on. Japan is making serious endeavors to become a global leader in regenerative medicine. In the studio, we welcomed Mr. Shinichiro Okazaki, who is in charge of regenerative medicine at the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry. Mr. Okazaki, thank you for thank being you here. Thank you for having me. First, can you tell us what regenerative medicine is? Regenerative medicine is the active use of cells, such as iPS cells, to treat physiological systems and organs that no longer function. In what areas is it being utilized now? Currently, two products have been officially approved for manufacture and sales in Japan. One is a cultured epidermis sheet for treating severe burns. The other is cultured cartilage for treating knee joints that have lost cartilage. Research is also advancing in other areas, such as severe heart disease, retinal disease, Parkinson's disease, and spinal cord injuries, several of which are nearing practical application. I see. How big is the market for the field of regenerative medicine? In 2012, the global market scale for regenerative medicine was 100 billion yen, but it is expected to grow to 38 trillion yen by 2050. The field is expected to rapidly grow in the future. Moreover, there is also a wide range of industries related to research and development in regenerative medicine, including precision machines, cutting-edge materials, chemicals, and distribution. Was there a catalyst triggering this projection of such dramatic growth? Yes, in 2014, Japan made revisions to the legal framework that promotes business in regenerative medicine. Can you tell us specifically about that new legal framework? The key point to this new legal framework is the acceleration of approval for product manufacturing and sales. This system is referred to as the expedited approval system. This chart shows the details. Trials that prove the efficacy and safety of regenerative medicine products are required to gain approval for their manufacture and sale. But development is abandoned in a considerable number of cases since trials require an enormous amount of time and expense. However, with this new legal framework, trials that would have taken 10 years are anticipated to be shortened to around three to four years. Because of this, partnerships with overseas companies and entry into the Japanese market by foreign companies are expected. Will this new legal framework accelerate business between Japan and overseas companies in the field of regenerative medicine? Yes, very much so, I think. As the most advanced in the world, this new legal framework is garnering attention from companies around the world. For example, 10 regenerative medicine-related companies in Japan are endeavoring to create a base for this industry in a national strategic special zone in Kanagawa Prefecture by 2017 to jointly develop products with overseas companies. Close to Tokyo International Airport, the location has great access and is anticipated to become a global industrial base. Efforts are also being made to energetically promote Japan's new legal framework to persons in medical fields overseas. In June 2015, the world's largest biotechnology event was held in the United States. Companies from around the world with the latest technologies gathered together, leading to a variety of business, including joint research and development, 20 companies from Japan also participated and actively promoted their technologies. It looks like this company, which possesses cell technology for regenerative medicine, also found a new partner. Seminars were held as well, and Japan's new legal framework for regenerative medicine program was promoted. New legal framework will make Japan a very attractive market for both R&D and the uh, practical application for uh, regenerative medicine. We welcome many companies 
which start their businesses in Japan. What was the reaction of people from foreign companies who listened to the speech? Within the Japanese market, and I think this uh, opens the door to a, a freer marketplace in Japan, and it's, so it should be interesting to watch. Hopefully we can, uh, we can participate in that. Yeah. What kind of advantage does partnering with overseas companies to promote regenerative medicine business give to Japanese companies? In this field, developing technologies and products takes a significant amount of money and time. Collaborating with overseas companies enables utilization of technologies and rights that each possess and is thought to facilitate reciprocal market development in Japan and overseas. We hope that this expedited approval system program will encourage this kind of activity. Terumo Corporation is a company utilizing the new legal framework. In 2014, with the launch of the new legal framework, the company applied for approval to manufacture and sell a cell sheet for treating patients with serious heart failure. Terumo has been researching regenerative medicine for the heart muscle since 2002 and conducting joint research on the cell sheet with Osaka University. Osaka University developed the world's first cell sheet, which is being used at Terumo in trials with the aim of practical application. The person responsible for research and development talked about the expedited approval system. Actually, I've heard that Osaka University has received quite a few inquiries from overseas about the skeletal myoblast sheet we're developing. Japanese technology is leading the world and seems to be the front runner in the area of practical application in medicine. On the other hand, there is a company that has already succeeded in the practical application of products. That company is Japan Tissue Engineering, JTEC. JTEC carries out the entire process from researching to manufacturing and selling products in fields such as regenerative medicine. JTEC has developed cultured epidermis to graft onto patients with severe burns and cultured cartilage for patients who have lost cartilage in their knees. These two products have been officially approved for manufacture and sale in Japan. CEO Yosuke Ozawa anticipates and hopes that the expedited approval system will boost overseas business for his company. Overseas businesses view this new legal framework in Japan as a big plus. They are discussing whether to carry out productization in Japan first. Japan is not the only arena for regenerative medicine. We definitely want to test JTEC and Japanese quality overseas to contribute to the economic development of Japan. Finally, what is necessary for regenerative medicine business in Japan to become the global forerunner? Japan is a top global level environment for research in regenerative medicine, starting with iPS cells, which have recently received attention. I think it hinges on how fast Japan can lead the world in the practical application of the excellent research results. For companies in the business of regenerative medicine, the expedited approval system in Japan presents a huge chance. It's important for each company to utilize this new legal framework to gain as much experience as they can in the regenerative medicine field.